I'm Adam Foyston, a dad, a thinker, and yes, a northern presenter. Doing your homework, writing a breakup text, and even making you up a new CV. Artificial, Artificial intelligence, intelligence can do many amazing, amazing things. things, but it could also bring about the end of jobs. There are some towns and cities in the UK which are often overlooked and underappreciated. I'm in a place that a Hollywood actor regarded as having the most sexiest accent ever. Yes, you've guessed it. It's my hometown of Hull. And for those in the South, Hull. I love my gadgets, technology, cars, but also like the big questions in life. Are you afraid of AI stealing your job? Yes. Yes. Do you see yourself being nudged out a bit? In uh, no, you you've do? just got to adapt. Right. And bring it in as a new tool. Similar kind of themes running around the fact that, yes, they can use it as a productivity tool to kind of get the bare bones of it, but there are still some skeptics out there. So yeah, thinking about the environment is a really good and noble thing to do. But it's also really cool and trendy. And none more so than with milk alternatives. Oat milk, soya milk, almond milk, rice milk. But it's also really confusing because some say they destroy the land and others that they do more harm than good because of all of the stuff they put in it to make it silky and smooth. So I'm here to ask some milk experts to help me find my perfect milk match. So nature versus nurture. It's a long-standing debate in both biology and society about the relative impact that our genetic inheritance and environmental conditions can have on our development. But how much of who we are is down to our genetics and how much is down to the things around us? What I ultimately want to know is, can we change our genetics? Worth an estimated 40 billion, the self-help industry has made media celebrities out of people and capitalized wildly on the growing self-consciousness of recent generations. Self-help, have you ever bought a self-help book or seen something online? And if so, around self-help, has it helped in any way? I do the savers thing, so I All try right. to have um, in the morning, do some silence, some affirmations. So as we get older, our quality of life chart usually shows on the decline. But if we think about it, our latter years should be the best yet. So who's breaking the mold and absolutely smashing it when it comes to being anything but great. With one in six Brits without any savings, that's 8.7 million of us, it can seem the prospect of financial independence or even early retirement is a pipe dream we could never reach. But there are some out there that have done just that. And they didn't do it by winning the lottery or marrying a member of the royal family. So join me as I discover the secrets of the downsizers. Let's say I'm in my 60s or close to 60. What are the type of exercises do you think that, that I need to be focusing on to get that strength? Well, I think things like weight training. Yeah, I had a sleep tracker once and I loved waking up in the morning to see how good and deeply I had slept until I had kids. And I don't think I've ever slept a full eight hours since. But kids or not, should I still keep the sleep tracker or what's the point? Does it help me? to monitor my sleep? Or could it do the opposite and actually do more harm than good? Creating sleep target anxiety. Let's find out. 